Well, let's just begin with this meeting, first of all. Look, what upsets me the most about this is the fact that a handshake in San Francisco is being seen as a diplomatic breakthrough. I think it reflects two things. The first is, number one, just how far this relationship between the two powers has deteriorated. But number two, how much work and diplomatic legwork still needs to go into bringing these two countries to some kind of stabilization in ties. What's your view? Well, I think those are, that's a fair way to begin, Dan. Thank you for having me on. But look, I, I don't think it's irrelevant that these two leaders are trying to establish some kind of positive tone because the bilateral relationship for a number of years now has been characterized by friction, by differences and, and uh, a lot of uh, thrown elbows and so forth. So to have both of them clearly making an effort to have a functional, professional, even positive relationship is not pure symbolism. It ripples through both governments and it allows some baby steps to be taken. I think we're going to see some baby steps this week. So Frank, you're a diplomat. You understand how these negotiations work. What are the motivations for this meeting on both sides? And most importantly, what are the deliverables? Well, I think each side is looking at a number of challenges. Uh, for example, uh, economic uncertainty. And in China, you have a real slowing down of the economy. But I think leaders in both countries have said, we just don't need more friction or more problems. So whatever we can do to relieve the system from all of these burdens, uh, so much the better. So let's look at some even some minor steps to at least send a positive tone. Uh, I, I think we're going to see some kind of accord or agreement on fentanyl precursors, which U.S. has said is important. I think China has also indicated that it will remove the freeze on Boeing selling its 737. Those are, those are baby steps, but they are material steps, and I think they're going to be welcomed on the U.S. side. U.S. is going to relax or remove some bans it's placed on some Chinese institutions, organizations, so that they may visit the United States. Again, smaller steps, but at least a positive tone. Frank, how do we gauge the success of this meeting? Um, what metrics are you actually looking for? Well, I think uh, I think it will be successful because the tone is positive and there will be some material uh, advances on some of these issues. I think the real test, though, Sam, is is there going to be a follow on meeting? I mean, as Dan indicated in his lead in, is this just sort of a one off act of symbolism or is this actually changing the tone of the relationship that maybe six months from now there'll be a ministerial level meeting, a foreign minister will visit with the secretary of state and we'll see a follow on. So if there's momentum in this, we'll only know in a few months, but if there's momentum in these talks, then we can deem this a success.